so, Johnny? What's up, Mike? That was a real good set what, tonight. What's, what's new in your world? Uh, we had a real good show tonight. Had a real good show. It was great. I had a lot of fun. One of the best, I think. Definitely. Everybody was hitting their marks. <laughs> and then some. And then some. Good rhythm. What do you think? <laughs> I think it was awesome. The crowd was good, and you know, you you are incredible. You know, the same way about you. You're so handsome. Have I told you lately? It's been a while. That I love you. It's been. No one's told you that they love you today. I'm telling you, I love you. Like Flynn Anthony. You know. I, it really is. Right. Me and you is close, like, you and me is like two and three. Yeah. Right. You know, I like to play Dear Lover. I think Dear Lover is probably my favorite part of the set. My favorite one's always the real ones. But, um, you know, Mommy's Little Monster is just as fun. It's more fun to play now than it was a long time ago because we're better musicians now. It doesn't sound like 1982, mm -hmm. so it, it, Mommy's Little Monster to me, honestly feels like it could have just been written right next to was I wasn't born to follow, and um, we're just lucky about that way about that, you know. Um, but my favorite songs are always the new ones. My favorite song to play, um, either Don't Drag Me Down or Story of My Life, because. Uh, or a bad luck or untitled or dear lover or mommy's little monster. Another state of mind is a good one too. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've been like busy for the last couple of years, so it's been hard to get to Europe, but you know, now that they've built a couple of, you know, decent clubs in LA and Orange County, um, we don't really have to leave. <laughs> But I'm not sure which I like better now, you know. Last year I was certain I liked the L.A. one better. And now, um, you know, I feel like uh, I've gotten used to both rooms. We played both rooms like nine nights. So one room is smaller, but uh, I think I like them both equally. Now, I, I like the dressing room in this one better because we, well, we couldn't be doing this in that other dressing room. <laughs> And it's become kind of a tradition where we play around the holidays. You know, it started out with just like a week, you know, of Orange County in L.A. And in the last three years, it's grown into a somewhat of a phenomenon. And uh, we beat, each year beat the record. This year was 19 sold out shows. So. But uh, it's great, you know. I mean, I mean, we're anxious to get back out and tour, too. But this is nice to do in the meantime while we're writing. You know, and, and recording to be able to play, uh, you know, in front of so many people here. And, uh, but I'm also excited about the new record, you know. I mean, we've been working hard, and I know it's seemed like a, an imaginary friend. Yeah, we have a record coming out. It's like, you know, a kid who has an imaginary friend. But uh, it's true, you know, we've been in pre production, we have a lot of songs, and, and it's now just. Uh, picking the best ones and finishing them and, and going in the studio and recording them. Uh, you know, it doesn't cost that much to fly from Germany to L.A. You know, maybe they should. Or, yeah, come out next uh, December. We'll, uh, I'm sure we'll be here. And I'm sure we'll have a new record by then. How are you, Mason? That's where everything goes, right? Concert over. The highlight of the day was um, the chocolate souffle and the show but it's still early and i went back to the argyle with my wife so the night is still young yeah what's what is that? that's my boys right there that's my pride and joy my boys say something say something Say, I'm not just a puppet, I'm a real little boy. <laughs> and Anaheim were rewarded after the show with 
if the kitchen is still open, which is Sundays, they close early. Oh, that's right, we gotta put our orders yeah, in before, before, before the show. Yeah, before the like French. You roll, you want a match too. See, I matched two ones, so three is the point. The next guy has to beat the three. Uh, one, two, three is an automatic lose. That's a one, two, three. A four, five, six is a is an automatic win. And uh, sometimes you get triples. High trips, well, at least on the West Coast, high trips beats low trips. East Coast, they try to say trip is a trip. That's some Boston shit. I don't buy that. So, that's a good roll. Mm. There you go. <laughs> Two. Two. That's how you play it. Mm -hmm. Put your money in. Sometimes you say goodbye to it.
big dog to show my masculinity. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? Huh? All right, let's do this. In case you're wondering, this is a 36 Ford three window coupe with an upgraded suspension and rear end, a 41 flathead motor in it built by Art Chrisman, and uh, dropped axle in the front, 39 transmission. It's about as primitive as it gets as far as a hot rod goes, but it's the best of both worlds because I've built a hot rod and a sled custom. This will eventually be chopped about three inches, the roof line. But I'm building it real traditional, uh, early 40s, late 40s, early 50s, before it got kooky. I bought this dog for my wife for her birthday, but I bonded with him the day I picked him out. He's become my dog. <laughs> my road dog. He goes with me to junkyards, auto parts stores, shop. I'm, our whole family's vegetarian. So he uh, eats my scraplings, you know, of my tofu and my eggs and uh, tomatoes and guacamole and beans and but he's healthy the only meat he eats is like dry dog food. well actually he eats the cat he prefers the cat's dry food to the dog dog food so I have no stereo in this car because I'm a musician, and although I'm a musician, I don't like to listen to music. Um, I always have music going on in my mind. So when I'm in my old cars, I would rather listen to the motor and the exhaust system. Now it's comforting, it's comforting. That's a flathead. Nothing sounds like a flathead. You don't need a stereo when you got a flathead. I got a couple of youngsters I want to bring out to say hello for a minute. Come here. These are my two boys. This is my pride and joy right here. This is Julian. Say hello, Julian. What's up? There's a little man, Johnny, right here. Say what's up. Who do you guys listen to in your carpool on the way to school? The Clash. All right. The reason I brought these boys up here is to make a point. My props go out to you old timers who remember in the late 70s, early 80s, there were no major corporations inviting us into their living rooms, I assure you. So my props to the old timers who remember who paved the streets for what is today now considered punk rock. But I gotta give props to the, to the new school Because without the new school, there'll be no one to carry the torch after we're gone. So, I love you boys with all my heart. Thank you. And thank you, Mama.
See this right here? Now one would think that this is for hygiene, but bass player, the drummer, and the guitar player. I don't use that shit. They they use this not for under your arms, but they put it on their earplug things so that your ears won't sweat. I don't use this. I, I don't I don't use the in-ear monitor system. But uh, but but I just don't know how they like you know they take this off and you know I, I don't know how they, they, oh, they put a little dab on and then you know right show us how you do it. There you go. Right, right, right. See? A little dab will do you. Right, right. Real cream, baby. Right. Oh, snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> Speed stick. Dry as sand. Okay.